Okay. What's up, Buffkin? Oh. Bluebeard burned everything. Shit. I don't trust Bluebeard. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the Crane's stuff? He's hiding something. He's involved, too. I just need two initial. I just need an initial. Hmm. If there was something here I could use to find him, there isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the Trip Trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Yeah. I done messed up. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. <laughs> but you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dunn. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think Good. the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. <laughs> You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble. Right. Inbox. Let's see. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. <sighs> no point in checking that inbox. Uh, cigar box. Let's see. Oh. You know about this? Nah. Uh, no. They've just been so nice, you know? I'd hate to mess it up. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. Yep. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. Hmm. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? What photo? Let's see. So that's why they were at her apartment, and the woodsman's place. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. 
and they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? <laughs> or who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Uh, I don't really care about anyone else. What I need. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. <laughs> now, please, just let me concentrate here. Okay, I gotta find what this key goes to. Anything over here? No. I guess I can look at this inbox. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. Am I the dog? What if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why I've got a key. A key because opens something. They're lying to you, okay, flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... Oh, I got all worked up and my stitches broke. I don't know what this is. This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Grant both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. He knew something. I knew it. I don't know what they keep back here. Whoops. But it might be what you're looking for. Okay, don't press space during cutscenes. Well, or do. The key you found should work. There we go. What have we got here? Wow. Hold for BCW. Hmm. Oh, we got what initials. For exactly. Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane or the witch he was using? Something. Collection. Hmm. What is that? No idea. Pretty sure it's something they aren't supposed to have. This isn't the witch, though. There's nothing I can do there. Coffee. What is that? Crooked man. Sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. 
who was he sending money to? The crooked man. man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Uh, I don't need the money, I don't think. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Butcher. Oh. What is this stuff? I don't know. What is it? JD. More initials, okay. Oh, the book. Open the book, Bigby. This doesn't really tell us much. Open the book. Hey, Bigby. Do you think after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. <laughs> come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Oh. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why? We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. So this must and be going to the witch. Queen. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Auntie Greenleaf. There it is right there. A.G. This is it. I have to tell Snow. This is the place. There, there's a phone right over there. New Book of Fables entry unlocked. I know who she is. Okay, we're on to something. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? I want to go in guns blazing. Hear quiet. Anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Oh no, I thought it just meant open the door. I wanted to bash it in. The door was ajar. Hello. Hi. You woke me up. That's too damn bad. Sorry about that. Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? I'm going to look uh, around. This has all been thoroughly enlightening, but I'm still going to have to search the apartment, so step aside, kid. Wait, please. I don't know if I'm allowed. Oh, it's okay. Really. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I'm going to do whatever I want. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Sheriff. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? I don't know. Crane, you could still be here. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. Hmm. It'll only take a moment. Let me guess. Big band or classical? I don't know Dunk, what to look Dunk. at. No accounting for taste. 
Where did that your mom? Uh huh. What else have we got here? It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Oh, there's something behind her. Not here. There's no one here but me. Hmm. Fucking witches. <laughs> Should have checked that first. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? I don't trust that kid. How much longer do you think it'll be? I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty... The Butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. It's our next clue then, the Butcher. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? There we go. Glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. I don't trust that kid. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break it. Don't That's exactly what I'm going to do. She'll freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. I knew something was up. Sequiters. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right. Start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean... What on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... You should be a lot more afraid of me than whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? I do not. Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. 
I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. Yeah. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could oh, don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Green was here. He was here, and he left. Where'd he go? He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave. And don't... Don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't destroy it, please. <sighs> this whole story of yours better check out. It will, it will. We can always come back later. And burn Even the tree then. I told you everything? That's it? She's off the hook? Come on. We have to get to Crane while he's still there. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. New Book of Fables entry unlocked. Okay. Let's take care of these before anything else happens. Flycatcher, the frog prince. A former prince turned into a frog by a witch. The friendly gen... Genial Flycatcher now carries the nickname as an unsubtle reference to his prosperity for catching and eating flies. His wife and their chicken were brutally murdered back in the homelands, a fact he attempts to deny himself by committing a series of endless tasks and janitorial duties. Committing to Anti Greenleaf, the White Deer. Horticulturist, alchemist, and lover of animals, Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside of the 13th floor. Unsupervised and unrestricted, rumored to have lost a daughter in the homelands, she suffers paranoia and depressive mood swings, and will only venture outside at irregular hours under the guise of an ethereal white deer, an oft-whispered specter of Brookhaven natives. The Glamour Tube, the Handy Disguise Glamours can be produced in a variety of ways, but one of the most common due to its ease of use is to take a small, hollowed-out tube or container and place within it several items unique to whomever the caster wants to copy. A witch is required for the reactionary charm. Two downsides of this type of glamour is the totally that totally unique appearances are completely impossible and the nature of the vessel makes it quite unstable. Whew. 